my nose is freezing cold. Oh man, it's so cold out that when I'm breathing in, ooh, it like burns. All right, so I'm parked and I'm in my car right now. I'm at Lincoln's school. Uh, nothing's wrong. Uh, but he did ask me to drive him to school today, which is, it's a amazing step forward because he used to not want to be driven at all. Like if he missed the bus, he would have such a horrendous meltdown and not even go. And that was horrible. Um, and I think he's finally realized that if I drive him, he has a little bit of extra time in the morning. <laughs> um, so that's, it's good and bad because I do like him riding the bus. Um, it's another opportunity for him to socialize, be out of his comfort zone and have to, um, have to interact with others. I have been contemplating why he is so against connecting with others. Um, you know, when I witness his interactions with other children, like even kids that are in his class, and he's not he's not complaining about the kids in his class. Um, but he also doesn't, um, he doesn't respond often when they interact with him. He's not mean, but he just kind of blanks out or even ignores their, uh, their attempts at talking with him and interacting. He is very noticeably more active. Um, what I mean by that is they have to line up when they get to school um, on the playground. And we were the first one there today and the other couple times that I've come with him and driven him he puts his backpack down and, you know, he just starts walking out to the field. You know, he likes to get some extra ener um, energy out, extra energy out. Great. But when he comes back to line and other kids start showing up, he's still kind of bouncing around. Um, like he's nervous or trying to get attention. And I'm just observing him, really. And I'm talking with the other students and other kids. And they mentioned, you know, that like Lincoln's crazy. Um, they don't know why he is mean to them. And that's, it's sad on one hand, definitely. But it's also a lot of good information for me so that I can talk to his doctors and his therapists and and just try to figure out how best to support him and understand why he's doing these things and feeling the way he does so that we can give him the tools and you know he can build the skills so that he doesn't struggle as much and he's able to adapt and grow and really just flourish, I guess. Um, yeah. So that, that's this morning. That's why I'm sitting in a parking lot in my car. <laughs>